found the victim laying face down on the floor in the master bedroom. 22-year-old Corey Winnicky must have been attacked while he slept and bludgeoned to the floor. When you look at a crime scene like this, you can tell that there's a lot of anger inside somebody to do something like that. Anger? Oh, yes. This was certainly personal. Corey Winnicky worked the late shift at a popular bar called Winks. Corey attended bar and held court, blessed with a smile that caused women to pay attention. Yeah, he was a ladies' fan. Just had a poise about him that would it, everybody was attracted to him. The day after the murder, investigators were looking around Corey's house for clues when a local TV reporter had noticed a baseball bat by the side of the road. It was obvious to us that this was a murder weapon. It was covered in blood. It was Corey's type. And they checked the bat for fingerprints, got none. But this was an investigation of shoe leather. At that point, there was really only one place shoe leather could take him. And that was Winks, the bar at the center of Corey Wedeke's life. A place where a few shots of alcohol stirred with a dash of anger. Might be a lethal cocktail, perhaps. <laughs>